Matt Rife special came out. Mm-hmm. And your brother sent me a text today. And he was like, uh, hey, what do you think about this Matt Rife controversy? I'm like, with too many abs? What's, <laughs> what's the, did he grow a ninth and tenth ab? Like, we don't, we've never seen that. He was like, no. He said, he's getting killed for his first joke in his special. And then, which was, I guess, was a domestic violence joke. Yep. And then for the people that were complaining, he sent them a link, said, this is, if you're complaining, here's where you should leave your complaints. Mm-hmm. And it was a link for people to buy a special needs helmet. Yes. Okay. Let me say a couple things. First of all, dude, his response was fucking perfect. And hilarious. And hilarious. And you know what he wants? Those people who are touchy, he wants them out of his fan base. Mm-hmm. Good for him, dude. He's drawing a line right fucking now. Mm-hmm. You want to laugh at silly? You want me to? You want? And, and domestic violence isn't silly. No. But let me just say this about yo, dude. First of all, if you don't like a joke, just don't watch that yeah. comedian. Yeah. That that's it. Don't get up because I guarantee you, everybody who laughs or who doesn't, who thinks that joke isn't funny, mm-hmm. is laughing at another joke. That other people think is offensive. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're picking and choosing by your own morality and ethics what, but I can laugh at this. Yeah. For, I'm going to give an example, like not comparing the two that like d- d- domestic violence and Christianity or Trump. Right. Right. Like it's okay to make fun of this vast religion and mm-hmm. everybody who, right. Right. Which a lot of people do. Mm-hmm. Tons. Yeah. 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 Right? You're picking and choosing. Listen, either you laugh at everything or you laugh at nothing. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed to fucking pick and choose just because something bothers you. Right? Mm-hmm. That is not okay. Because I, pr- I promise you, and I'll just say, like, I promise you that maybe a black guy wouldn't laugh at a black joke, but he'd laugh at a fat joke. Not okay. I, dude, I'm laughing at Jew jokes. Mm-hmm. I'm laughing at Jew jokes. I, 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 and, and by the way, there's a lot of them going around right now. Mm-hmm. I'm laughing at Jew jokes. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. I'm laughing at all of them. If it's funny, it's funny. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Yeah. But let me just say this about his domestic violence joke up front. Yo, man, it's not even like, and even if he hears this, it's not even like the most, and I don't, I don't mean this as a knock because as comics, when you're dealing with big, broad issues, mm-hmm. we're going to hone in on some of the same stuff. That doesn't mean like, like like a million people have done jokes about teachers having sex with students, right? Right. It's just something funny that that doesn't mean one person is stealing from the other. It's just such a big, broad topic. And everybody kind of finds the same area because that same area, I, I bet you there's a thousand comics who have said something like, because um, the, the mom always is the person who turns the... Mm-hmm. The teacher in. It's never the dad. Right. Because the dad's like, dude, that's fucking... Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So that's the joke. Mm -hmm. And everybody's done some sort of, like, variation of that. His domestic violence joke was basically, there was a woman out to eat. Um, She had a black guy. I'm going to paraphrase. But that, like, um, his basic joke was, if, if she... They broke it down. Right. And something said, like, maybe she should have been in the kitchen cooking. It was They were out at a restaurant. Right, right, right. And he was like, I think that if she could cook, maybe she wouldn't have the black eye. Yeah. Right? It, 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 everybody has made some, who's touched this topic, has been in that silly, ridiculous, right. big, broad area. You can tell by who he is by the way he delivers jokes, mm-hmm. by the way he does his crowd work, he goes in, but in the most non-serious way. Right. It's like watching Shane Gillis and thinking he me- like he means all of, yo, know, dude, he's, this is where he, f- he finds dark funny. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Yeah. But you have to, guys, comics, these comics are trying to make you laugh. Look at their intent. The intent is to make you laugh. I promise you, Matt Rife is a very respectful young man. He's not out beating people. He's not pro domestic violence. No. And that joke is not making anybody go home and hit their wife. Yeah. You, you know what? 
you touchy fucks, you touchy pussies. You, look, man, just because it's not fun for you doesn't mean other people aren't having fun with it. You don't get to be the fucking fun police. And you don't get to police what other people think is funny. And some of us like dark humor. I like all the dark humor, man. Me too. I like all of it. Yo, I will laugh at a straight up racist joke. If it's funny, I'll laugh, man. Yeah. I am the furthest thing from racist. Yeah. I will laugh at a domestic violence joke. Is it funny? I will laugh at a sexist joke. Is it funny? Mm -hmm. I'll laugh at a Jew joke. Is it funny? That's all it is to me. Is it funny? And is the intent of the person telling it from, to make me laugh? Yeah. That's it. Because people don't understand that line between it, like uh, the intent. Like that's what you, exactly what you're saying is some people are saying it as a joke, but also thinking the intent behind the joke is to be malicious when that is most of the time, not the intention. There are some comics who don't know that line to where the jokes sound more rule, like rude and cruel than it is funny. It's, it's all about the intention and tone and how somebody says it. There's a guy named Kevin Brennan, uh, Neil Brennan's brother. And Neil and Kevin are not close. Mm. And Kevin is the dude who is, he, he, his jokes do cross. Right. He is a, he's a mean comic. Right. Right. And he's been pretty much ostracized out of the community because of it. Yeah. We're not into that shit either. We're into funny. Yeah. Because that also that type of comic makes all, everybody, every other comic look bad. A hundred percent. Yeah. I, guys, yo, know, there are so many other important things in the world than you trying to play gotcha cop with comedians. Mm -hmm. There are so many other fucking things. And if you don't think something's funny, which is cool, yo, dude, there's a lot of comics who are very successful that I don't think are funny. That's fine. That doesn't mean they're bad. That means that's not the type of art that I like. So right. this is not the type of art you like. And people getting on him about his comedy, because I've read, you told me that some people are like, it's not getting reviewed that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, he is such a young comic. Yeah. He's a fucking infant as a comic. His crowd work is next level. It mm -hmm. is so far beyond his years because he is an improv dude. And yeah. his crowd work is so far. I, I am so impressed with his crowd work. It is so conversational mm -hmm. and so quick and dark. And his audience allows him to be dark because he knows they know what the deal is. Mm -hmm. His comedy will catch up. It will, it's the same shit when I hear people giving Brendan Schaub a hard time. Yo, know, man, these, these guys get exposure really quick. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to say no to a special. It's yeah. hard to say no to the attention. But with all the attention, people are expecting you to be Dave Chappelle. There's only one Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. And that's Dave Chappelle. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So, I, I, I you, yo, do you know me? I love stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. I love stand-up comics. I, it, has, it continues to grow. My love for stand-up comedy and my love for comedians. It continues to grow. It's gotten better. I have, as I get older, I have more appreciation for what goes into this job mm -hmm. and to be successful at it. And so I, I have so much respect for Matt and how hard he's fucking worked. And, uh, and I, I hope this doesn't, well, it definitely doesn't bother him, just judging by his response. Yep. His response was perfect. His mm -hmm. response was, hey, fuck you. Ride with me or put the helmet on. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Which is exactly what it should be. He should not be catering his art to a certain few people. Anybody. Yeah. The oh. deal with art, yo, whoever your favorite artist is, I promise you, they do their art because they like it mm -hmm. and they hope somebody... They, Art's they, all about perspective. Dude, it is all about, if I'm making my art because I think you'll like it, it's going to be shitty. 